Look, I'm actually a little shocked by this one, but Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl 2? Actually really good. I swear the first one only released three months ago, and rather than trying to, I don't want to say fix that one, but improve it, I suppose, they just decided to go ahead and make the sequel, and they added everything that was missing from the first one. They even added a whole single player roguelike campaign mode, and it's sick and a ton of fun. Initially, when I was approached to make this video. Because yes, this video is sponsored by Game Mill Entertainment, and you can grab a copy of the game on all major platforms by using the link in the description below. All I was going to do is just play the game with my friend Peanut Butter Gamer and call it a day, and I, I did do that. Peeps, I requested you specifically because when I think of old school cartoons, when I think of 90s nostalgia, there is one man that comes to mind and by jolly gosh, he answered the call. What's up, Wood? How are you? We gotta get in a game because I gotta, I gotta kick your ass, man. Have you played this yet so far? Because I hate to break it to you, but I played for at least a couple hours. Yeah, well, when I found out you had the game, I was like, man, I gotta practice. So I played like four or five games. I'm good. Okay, okay. So I think I'm good. <laughs> Playing it with peeps was a ton of fun, but when it came to actually making this video, I knew that wasn't enough because I'd been absorbed in this campaign mode and I wanted to talk about that too. All right, what's your favorite level, favorite map? Dude, the levels actually are pretty cool. I know. I I love the way they look, especially. Oh. So I picked that one. the Thornberries one because it's so iconic to me, that it, camper van dangling over the cliff. It actually is a pretty cool level. I was going to ask you what your favorite cartoons were growing up. It's a little basic, but I got to go with SpongeBob. And uh, Patrick in particular, I found his uh, character to be pretty fun. So oh, you, we can change costumes. I don't know if you knew that. Oh, whoa. That costume looks that sick. That is sick. So if you didn't play the first Nick All-Stars, a lot of what people wanted were things like voice acting, which was missing. And now this game is fully voice acted. Every character has voice lines. The avatar is back. Even the side characters in the campaign mode are fully voiced, and there's so many. We'll talk about that. I saw this ghost. He would do like this. Outfits for characters. Each character has multiple different outfits to choose from, and some of them look sick, like the black and white comic book TMNT outfits, or this mecha raptor, or the Angry Beavers in their cute little holiday shirts. I love the Angry Beavers. You want me to show you my favorite move? Yeah. No, no! <laughs> That's my favorite move I, so I didn't far. mean it. What's your taunt, real quick? Uh, pizza. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I know. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying something, it's not working. You know no! what? No! <laughs> well, it didn't let me. You can't get that twice. You know what? I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> I think I'm just going Go. to. Uh... No! Don't give it to him! <laughs> well, that wasn't with the way I was planning it, but, you know, whatever works. Okay, I want to talk about this campaign mode, because it's really cool. It's a roguelike, and you can pick the path of where you want to go next. For example, you can run into free upgrade sections, and you can pick to go see, like, Jimmy Neutron's dad, who gave me a bonus to my air attack that also gives it fire damage. Or grr from Invader Zim, who gave my SpongeBob water bending. Also, even these characters are fully voiced. I always wondered what went on in Jimmy's lab. Yeah, now that I'm here, it's even more the mystery to me. If you run into another playable character on the run and beat them, you unlock them, and then you can use them in the campaign mode too, which makes playing through pretty addictive because you want to fight and collect all the characters. And there are levels where they throw waves of enemies at you, but they're all non-playable side characters from all of these universes come together, like random fish people from SpongeBob's town or the Foot Clan from TMNT. And then the currency you earn on the run are Nickelodeon blimps, like they used to give away at the Nick Choice Awards. You lose those at the end of the run, so you spend as much as you can on the run to level yourself up and make it as far as you can. But you do get to keep all your green slime and whatever these purple things are to upgrade yourself permanently at the home base or decorate the home base. And yeah, 
there's a home base. There's also a big boss fight at the end of every run. And these are really cool. They have their own cutscene animations. The fights are bigger feeling fights than just typical matches. And also you can do a separate boss rush mode if you just want to see if you can beat them all in one go. Oh, we got to go to the air temple. Dude, I played a little bit of Reptar. I want to play him again just to show you his super move, assuming I can hit it. I want to do Garfield to show you his lazy mode. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there. <laughs> It's, oh, dude, it's old so Garfield. Good. Reptar's block is also really good. I tried to build Oh, uh, Garfield has a pillar. A pillar. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> You're like freaking <laughs> Super Saiyan or something. What is going on? I'm a cat. I have cat reflexes. I'm a sleepy boy. Sleep <laughs> sleepy boy. The amount of references, inside jokes, memes, and characters they've stuffed in here is wild. One of the characters you can come across in the campaign is the heckin' Cabbage Man from Avatar. And you can even buy one of his cabbages. It's just so random. It's quite peaceful at the air temple. My cabbage cart is rarely destroyed. No, oh, my cabbages! And if you don't like all the roguelike elements, which I, they're cool, I don't know why you wouldn't. There is a traditional arcade mode as well, as well as mini games. The burger level is pretty funny too. All right, let's do that. And then I'll be the Angry Beavers one. Dude, I'll, be, I'll be Nigel Thornberry. He's gonna beat up on some animals. I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of what he stood for in the show. Yeah, hey, desperate times. So I like these two because they play individually oh, and you can switch between them. Wait, can I show you my favorite move? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah, got it. That's okay. I wanted, I wanted to see it anyway. I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, are you kidding me? I really love that they added ultimates and I don't know who my favorite is, but it might be SpongeBob just because of how it's animated, like the actual SpongeBob cartoon. I've been playing it a bunch on my Switch and it works really well. I also got a code for the PC version and well, that works even better. You know, um, this is a sponsored video, so, the, uh, uh, I can't mention, mm, other games that may or may not be a lot like this game. You might have noticed that this genre is happening a lot lately, and I gotta say, as far as sheer quality and attention to detail, I think this one is unmatched, as opposed to, I guess, what you would call the original. They even have extras like uh, a jukebox mode to play all the music and a gallery where you can unlock still shots as you play the campaign mode and also trophies for the characters you beat the game with you get a trophy for them you know what i'm appreciating about the game now more than before because when i played this with peanut butter gamer we were just screaming over the top of the game the whole time <laughs> 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 How much the music slaps. They went so unnecessarily hard, making the music in this game so much better. You don't believe me? Listen to this guy. Yo, what the heck? That's sick. That City Aquarium. Also, the main theme in itself is awesome. I've been playing it in this video. Listen to the bop they did for Jellyfish Fields. It's like a remix of Jellyfish Fields and it's like lo-fi and kind of slaps. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get to the TMNT one. It's so wonderfully 80s. Dude, it's so good. I love all this music so much. I've actually just been going through on a YouTube playlist, listening to all of them. I haven't heard this one yet. No shot, my guy. That has to be a Turtles one. Dude, I could sit here all day. There's so many tracks. Okay, okay, last one, last one. Oh wait, Jimmy's Lab. Oh, it's gonna hit. I feel it. Okay, you get the point. I, I really do feel like every element of the game, they have uh, upping the ante and making it such good quality. 
This is a great soundtrack. All right, back on with the video. I just had to add that. Oh, God. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> okay, well, I, don't, I don't know. I don't need to be juggled right now. <laughs> I can't with you right now. Last Airbender's uh, uh -oh. better than Korra. Confirmed. <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> yeah, the better Airbender one, I think. And that is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. I'll leave links down below if you can grab one. I really appreciate Game Mill Entertainment for wanting to sponsor the channel again and getting giving me a chance to play this. I forgot what my bubble button is. Whoa! Oh, God! He's out of there. Yeah. With all my inventions, I couldn't beat Imagination. Oh, he's in the bottom right, <laughs> freaking out. All my inventions! Thanks so much. That was so much fun. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for having me. Anytime, peanut butter gamer at youtube.com forward slash peanut butter gamer, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes, sounds about right to me. <laughs> Bye. Bye.